Hey everyone, welcome back to the next episode in my Unity Android game tutorial series, um, episode 3. Uh, in the previous episode, we established some player movement scripting, and in this we're going to make a delayed camera following a script. And it's going to be based on this tutorial by Brackies. Um, he's a big YouTuber in the game dev community, and he has some very good tutorials. I'll have a link to this one in the description, but uh, let's get into it. So. First, open up the Unity Editor, go into the Project uh, window, and in the Scripts folder, we're going to right-click, create C, C Sharp script. We're going to call it Camera Follow. All one word. And then we're going to open that up in Visual Studio or whatever you want to use. Um, and we're going to do some things. First of all, delete the Start function, and then make, rename Update to Late Update. So this is going to run after the initial update, so like this, because we don't want these two functions competing, because that will cause some stuttering. Um, yeah, so we need three variables for this, the first of which is a public transform target. And since we want the camera to follow the player, the target is going to be the player. Next we need a public vector3. Uh, offset. So this is going to be the distance between the camera and the player since we don't want the camera to actually be inside of the player. And the final variable is going to be a public float um, delay. And we're going to set that to 0.125. It has to be between 1 and 0. So to pick whatever number you want, it, um, it doesn't matter that much. So get into the actual update function. First of all, we need to establish a vector3 desired position. This is where the camera is eventually going to move to, and it's going to be equal to target dot position plus offset. Um, since these are both are vector3s, um, they add together very nicely, and it just kind of works out. So, next variable is a vector3 a delayed position. Now this is actually using a class or a function inside of the vector3 class. Dot, um, it's called lerp, and this is basically gonna it linearly interpret linearly interpolates between two vectors. So basically, it's a delayed distance between the two vectors. First one is the current position of the camera, so it's gonna be transform the opposition. Excuse the background noise, I can't really do anything about it. I'm sorry, but uh, back into the tutorial. The second vector 3 is going to be the desired position. And the third is going to be the uh, delay variable flow that we made. And then finally to make it all work, we're going to do transform the opposition set that to delayed position. And that is it. So, back into the Unity editor. We need to put our um, our, scholar, our script onto the camera object. Oh, wrong one. We're going to put the camera follow script onto the camera object. And we're going to drag the player object into the target um, section. And then for the offset, we're going to set that to the position of the camera because it's a position relative to uh, the main player holder game object, and since the player is at zero zero, it's you really just got to copy and paste these values into here. And, oops. And once you've done that, you can play. And um, initially, you can't really tell. Well, I mean, if you look in the scene, obviously you can see that the the character is moving. But you can't really tell that the camera's following it because well, the camera's following it. So, um, in order to change that, we're going to add something uh, for just for reference of where the player actually is. So we're going to right-click, add a 3D object. It's going to be a cube. It's going to be a 0, 0.5, and then we can keep this value. It's fine. And then um, off camera, I made a new material called the red. It doesn't even have to be a different color. I just thought it would look better. And now if you play, you can see very clearly that player kind of moves around this um, this guy. 
camera follows very nicely and then we just move this back over here and then screw around with the um, and then we screw around with the delay value we can make it so that it's uh, a lower delay you can see how that affects it and then if we do a higher delay it still has to be between 0 and 1 but it doesn't matter that much yeah, higher delays, it, it's kind of counterintuitive because a higher delay makes it less delayed. So, closer you get to zero, let's just do point zero 0.05. Um, the, ironically, the most or the more the delay is going to be. So, you can kind of see that here. But, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, share your friends, whatever. Um, and thank you for watching. See you later.